Q35, that, that should be fine for any machine. UFE, Secure Boot, what is MS? Microsoft FD, I don't know what FD is. Usually I just pick the UFE, it works fine with Debian. Let me just press apply, I don't have to press apply. Uh, SATA CD-ROM again, but I, I don't know if this matters too much. I, I can make it... Um, I can make it BIOS for Arch Linux. Maybe Arch Linux will like BIOS better, uh, at least in the VM. Let's begin installation and see how it works. No, no, it works. Okay, I suppose... Um, I, I'm not gonna suppose anything. Uh, by the way, what I'm going to install is I'm going to use Arch install script simply to... Uh, can anyone start a stopwatch? What's the best stopwatch uh, on the... Um, can I use time as a stopwatch? Time... Time watch... Time. Will this work? Let's kill the process. Five. Start all the studio started the stopwatch. Okay. Good. Continue doing the stopwatch thing. Arch install. Uh, just from the perspective of a completely new person, correct? Arch install, language, English, locales, US English, mirrors. No need to uh, tinker about that because we have no clue what mirrors are. Uh, disk configuration, partitioning, use best effort, default partition layout. Let's do that. Let's press space. By default, it offers butter file system. Okay, I don't know what butter file system is, so let, let's just go with default. Would you like to use butter? For sub volumes, I don't know what sub volumes are, so I'm gonna answer yes. Uh, would you like to use compression? It's marked as default, so I suppose it's good. Let's go back. This encryption, I don't know what that is. Looks, it kind of picked it for me. Suppose uh, we have to pick it. I'm just pretending, but it's. I'm trying to press the enter key as much as I can without thinking too much and see where it leads. Let's go back, swap. What is swap? I don't know. Let's let's press, press no. Bootloader, something called grub. Okay. Hostname, Arch Linux, fine. Root password, passes or the. Okay. Passes or the. Okay. Uh, user account, add user, dart. Password, passes, or the, passes, or the, okay. Should Dart be a super user sudo? I don't know what that is. I said yes. Uh, confirmed and exit. Profile. Type. I don't know what profile is. Oh, now it's asking me to pick a desktop. Let's go with, uh, which, which desktop do you guys want? Alexi an hour, all right, maybe a day is a more like it. Which desktop should I choose? I don't know any of these. This is all brand new to me. One is called Awesome. BSPWM, Budgie, Cinnamon, Cutefish, B Deepin, Enlightenment, Gnome, Hyperland, XFC. Alexi said XFC. There is also Hyperland. Hyperland like PewDiePie, Cosmic. Is there Cosmic here? There is no Cosmic. One of the most commonly used passwords online is password, yeah. So Alexei said XFC, choose something, guys. One vote for XFC, one vote for Hyperland, one vote for Cinnamon. Do more. We're choosing the desktop environment. 
Hyperland profile is lame. It stars Dolphin with half of the KDE. Okay. Okay, X foot say it is. Where was it? X foot say. Uh, no, not sway. Okay. Uh, type of the graphics driver. Okay, let's do the graphics driver. What is that? Good. Uh, open source. Okay. Greeter, light, DM, fine, back, audio, no audio server, pipe wire, pulse audio. Let's pick one. Kernels, Linux, fine, network configuration, use network manager. Okay. Additional packages. Should I use Network Manager? There was copy ISO network configuration to installation. Which one should I use actually? If I am a new user. Admin, admin. I'm done with the desktop swapping. I stick with KDE. That's fine. Learn. Um what, what do I choose? What do I choose here? I set my password to yes when like install a package, just pre press yes for password and another yes for for yes lol. Do we use network manager on the X foot uh, or just copy ISO network configuration? Let, let's just use the default without network uh, manager. Additional package, I don't know what that is. Time zone, UTC, that's fine. Automatic time sync, yes. Save configuration. Uh, Do you want to save? Yes. Install. Yes. Okay, it's doing something. I actually went through the Arch install script a couple of times, so don't worry about me pretending the way that I, I was pretending, but uh, it's, um, it's, it's really a good way to get something done with your system without really having uh, the having being forced to read through the arch wiki right so arch wiki requires literacy it requires you to be able to read and comprehend the very easy to understand wiki which will tell you what to copy paste as commands and you will need to be able to copy paste. If you can't, uh, then Arch Wiki is not good for you and you're going to have to use the uh, Arch install script. Five minutes, six minutes. We did spend a couple of minutes on choosing the desktop, right? But that's a part of the installation process. Uh, I, I will not pretend that the new user will not stop at that point and give it a little bit of a thought have a pulse can read i, I don't know clara some uh, some people can't read expecting a lot from gen alpha Is Cosmic ready for daily driver? XGUI Studio asks. The answer is no. You can beta test it if you want and report bugs to the developers and help them develop it if you want. Iceblade can't read. That's why I don't use a password manager as well. Don't need to read. The AI will do it for me. Definitely, definitely. So, um, guys, the, the the arch thing is, is is installing itself. What do you know? Cosmic Alpha Seven is fairly stable, but wouldn't use it on a production. It depends on what you expect from your desktop. If it crashes because it has memory leaks, and it does has does have memory leaks. So if it crashes on you uh, in the middle of your work, would you call that a minor inconvenience or a major deal breaker? You tell me, it's up to you. I, I, I'm not making a decision here. The broken, the boot up. 
Would you like to uh, Tsuherut into the newly created installation and perform post installation configuration? We have no clue what that is, so let's just press no. Uh, you may reboot when ready. Reboot. Okay, we're rebooting here. Full screen. There we go. Uh, the resolution of this entire monitor is uh, 1280 by 1024. Password. I've never had Arch crash on me. I didn't say Arch, I said Cosmic. Uh, Oli Studio, 9 minutes, right? Uh, okay, let's say under 10 minutes to install. Arch Linux and boot into desktop. If I really wanted to race against time, I could have squeezed it below 7 for sure because I would just pick a desktop environment without thinking about it. When will Cosmic be ready for daily driver use? I don't know, you should ask the developers.